If you're having a bit of neck tension when you're practicing your violin, um, I have a few things I can suggest for you today. Um, this topic and many of my uh, video topics are quite daunting actually, just to be honest, because I don't really know who my audience is at times. So sometimes I might be talking to um, you know, a beginner, I might be talking to a student, I might be talking to a college student, you know, conservatory student or professional. So um, I would actually give different advice to different people because I see what their struggle is and I am always very individual with that. That's why I, I like to teach individual um, private lessons. So um, what I tell you today may not be the right advice for you. Um, but it might be the right advice for somebody else. So, um, you know, you can try it out. And if it's not really, really working for you, then um, hopefully I'll be uploading more videos on this topic and you can try one of the other suggestions that I have for you. So main, my main concern is your health and I don't want you to injure yourself. I want you to feel better. And so, um, you know, if you feel this is something you could try, do it. If you don't think so, then don't try it. And um, you can leave a comment below and ask me, you know, for something specific. I'd be happy to um, try and accommodate you, okay? So for this one, this, this may not work for um, like even a late beginner or an early intermediate. This might work more for somebody who's been playing quite a while because um, what I want to challenge you to do is, you know, for neck tension, it could be a lot of things. It could be your shoulder. It could be your back, your upper back muscles. It could be your neck. Um, so first thing I would say is just try to move your neck around, you know, just like really gently go like, you know, maybe ear, ear to, um, shoulder without bringing your shoulders up, you know, just very, very gently, you know, and just, just hold it there. You can look left, you can look right, just hold it for, you know, a little while. So you can do a little bit of that just to get some movement into your, your neck. And um, so when we're having um, like neck misalignment, like, you know, people who kind of sit with their chin forward or um, or people who study and their head is always tilted down towards a, a desk or if your, your computer monitor is like on the side or something or um, something that, you, you know, you keep using uh, uh, your muscle in like one way. It's always good to, um, you know, try to incorporate movement where you're going the other way. So, um, so the neck is pretty tricky and it's very delicate. So we want to be careful with that. Um, I have some neck tension even right, right now. I'm feeling a little bit, um, because of all the activities that I've done in the last few days. So then what I do is I just find ways to release it. And I, you know, because I've dealt with it for a while, I know what to do for myself. Um, so even now what I would do is when I'm practicing, I would actually, uh, first of all, you need to be able to hold your violin, um, like um, in a balanced way so you see how my head's off the instrument but my violin's not falling down so it's a teamwork um, between you know getting the violin balanced on your your collarbone here and um, and then it's also the hand uh, supporting the neck area okay and so you know I do need to <laughs> talk about shoulder rests and, and chin rests and sponges and pads and everything but um, you gotta you have to find the right uh, setup that works for you so that could be another thing so you see how this topic just can really open up um, you know another another thing and another issue so um, and it really I have to see you personally to know what I would recommend for you so um, anyways once you find this balance I would suggest that you just play without your head on the instrument. So, if you want, you can play your favorite tune. then what you can do is if that's difficult for you I don't want you to feel more tension because you don't feel comfortable with that so I would say then try to put your head um, in a new way so like it might look like you're decapitated but just you know try to put your head maybe this way and just relax it and then play <laughs>
press at all. You're just kind of putting your chin there just to stabilize it very lightly. <laughs> Then you can also try going the other way, so maybe turn quite a bit this way. Again, don't apply any any pressure just, you're just kind of barely touching it here. Another thing that might help is while we're doing this, we breathe, we exhale. And as you exhale, you can feel like your um, your muscles anywhere like you can focus on your neck or your shoulder um, or your arm and you just try to release let it melt to the floor all right so making sure that you're not you know harnessing any tension and kind of holding everything like elevated so we might kind of play like like this and so we want to and try to let let those things go so i don't know if you You've seen me, sometimes I play and I do this, and I, while I'm playing, I do this. And so I'm just trying to incorporate a little bit of motion to check that I haven't locked something up that I didn't realize. So that's why I'm doing that. And if you watch um, famous violinists perform, even Oystrock, um, even you know back then or even now, um, you can look at Van Groff, Hilary Hahn, uh, um, uh, Janine Jansen, a lot, a lot of players they're they're moving um, around quite a bit they're adjusting because we don't want to be holding one position clamping down so that's that might be what you're doing um, and then just kind of staying that way the whole time there's no way that's healthy for your muscles your ligaments your tendons there's no way so we want to just incorporate movement so I would highly recommend if you can't you know do this with your head you know moving and maybe you should check your setup, meaning your, your equipment, your accessories, and um, also how you're holding your instruments. So I do have other videos that talk about posture um, on the left side, how to place the violin and whatnot. So um, I'll link those above, and um, so you can go take a look at that as well. All right, hope that helps.